Okay, so continuing now with the 2022 10B, it was problem number eight. It's also problem number six from the 12B. Consider the following 100 sets of 10 elements each looking like this, one to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30, 991 to 1,000. How many of these sets contain exactly two multiples of seven? Well, let's just kind of get a feel for the problem, right? When you're trying to get used to it, you're not quite sure what you're gonna do, just take the first one and see if it does. Well, it's gonna have seven, but that's it. 14's the next one. So if we, let's see if we can write some out. Seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70. Okay, so let's look. This one will, because those are both in the 20s, so when I get to 21 and 28, it will be there. So would not 35, not the, oh, two in the 40s, that's gonna work. Um, the 50s will not, the 60s will work, why? Because these are ending with the next 10 after the 20s. So you don't start at 20, you start at 21 and end at 30, be careful with that. So my strategy here was to kind of classify what's happening. Notice that when we get to 77, it's a new batch where just like this one is a remainder of one when you divide it by seven, 71, 72, that set will be when this process repeats. And so let's kind of write it as X's and O's. O's are good, X's is bad. So one to 10, I'm gonna put X for it. 11 to 20, X. 21 to 30, O, uh, and then the, the, so the 20s you can think of it like, even though it's got 30 on the end, 20s is good, 30s, no, 40s, yes, 50s, no, 60s, yes. So it looks like out of seven, three. Three out of every seven groups are going to have what we desire. So now if we have 100 groups, how many groups, like big groups of seven is that? Well, 98 is seven times 14. So in, in 98, the first 98 sets, you're gonna go one to seven, one to seven, one to seven, like seven groups, right? right. 14 groups of seven sets, okay? So then uh, each of these 14 groups is gonna have three good ones, the O's, okay? So 14 times three, 42, now, what about set 99 and set 100? They're gonna come back to the beginning, right? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, right? So when you get to 98, you're right here. 99 is an X, 100 is an X. Those are no good. Answer, Jackie Robinson, 42. Let's go on to the next problem. And now the last problem of this rapid fire set for the 10B, but it's also 12B problem seven, and we're talking about the 2022 AMC contest. Camilla, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, Camilla maybe, writes down five positive integers. The unique mode, okay, we're gonna get kind of confused here. Unique mode, okay, it means that there's only one. If you didn't know, there can be more than one mode of these integers is two greater than their median. So if I wrote A, B, C, D, and E, this is the median, but the unique mode is bigger than it, and since it's unique, these must be the same. So there is no E value, it's two D values. Let's put that like that. That way we have a unique mode. Okay, so what's next? Uh, and the median, that C, is two greater than their arithmetic mean or average. What is the least possible value for the mode? Since we're doing least possible, this could be confusing to start making equations with. Why don't we just tag an answer and see what happens? If five was the mode, right? Again, the mode is the D value, okay? Then you would have five, five, that would have to be two more, two greater than their, no, 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 uh, two greater than their median, that would mean this is three, okay? So then what would A and B be? Well, we'd also have to have the average, which would be A plus B plus 13 divided by five. Um, 
it says that the the median is two greater so median being three is two greater than their average so I would have to take the average and add two in order to get this median of three so if I subtract two I'm gonna get one times five I'm gonna get five you're gonna have a plus B plus 13 equals five could those be negative five positive integers this is why we always go back to check for de deterministic words that's gonna help us see how that works now let's do it again if I let B be uh, the mode be seven you're looking at seven seven five and I'm just gonna consider this a parenthesis a plus B is just it's the sum of two integers we don't care okay so um, a plus B is going to be uh, a parenthesis plus 14 plus 5 which is 19 divided by 5 plus 2 is going to have to equal in this case now it's 5 why 5 again that's the median the median 5 is 2 greater than 2 more than this average so now if I subtract 2 to get 3 and times 5 I'm gonna get 15 equals parenthesis plus 19 again the parenthesis is negative this is impossible let's go to the next one nine if I make the mode nine 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 seven remember what's happening here with this two I'm just gonna go ahead and move it over right now if I move over the two and this is a seven instead right so then I'm gonna have five over there so I'm gonna have parenthesis plus 18 and 7 is 25 um, is going to equal 25 right because why again we I'll just hard to explain what I'm doing in my head so you have this you have plus 25 divided by 5 plus 2 needs to equal this 7 when you move the 2 over and multiply by 5 you're gonna get 5 times 5 is 25 but that makes this 0 that's a problem uh, let's go ahead and try the 11 and so I'll just do it here let me erase and make some space here for us so we have more I don't have to lean down so far to write so the 11 then is going to give us 11 11 and 9 and a and B and again this is the median and this is the mode so we're going to have um, 22 and 9 is 31 a plus B plus that divided by 5 plus 2 equals 9 subtract 2 get 7 times 5 get 35 a and B could be have to be unique keep in mind if they both had to be 2 for instance this wouldn't work because you wouldn't have a unique mode okay but they could be 1 and 3 there are places for different positive integers for A and B so if they're 1 and 3 you get 35 over 5 is 7 plus 2 is 9 checks out answer D 11 let's get to the next problem okay we're gonna try and get out 8 9 and 10 before the daylight becomes too strong on the board so let's go through these really quick 2022 AMC 12 B problem 8 what is the graph of this thing in the coordinate plane and it's a bunch of options but those aren't gonna help you just look at this and start thinking algebraically mm, I probably want my y terms together so let's subtract 2y squared over to the other side and we'll leave it like this now that factors that's too convenient to not be what you're supposed to do so you're gonna get y squared minus 1 squared equals x to the fourth now what do we do well what is that I mean what would x to the fourth be is it a parabola x to the fourth is not a parabola circle Pra no help right so what are we gonna do I think probably you want to move the x to the fourth over here so you're gonna get y squared minus 1 squared minus I'm gonna rewrite it as x squared squared see where we're going with this this is a and this is B it's a squared minus B squared so it's difference of squares let's see what that looks like if we do that y squared minus 1 plus x squared y squared minus 1 minus x squared so this is equal to 0 still now you have to remember right now if I find a solution of this equal to 0 
then that is a solution to the original equation because we haven't you know, done anything that's not allowed. So then if I set this equal to zero, I'm gonna move the one across the equal sign and you're gonna get y squared plus x squared equals one. If I do it again here, I'm gonna get y squared minus x squared equals one. Now all the solutions of this are ordered pairs on a hyperbola and this one's a circle and you're gonna get answer choice D. Let's do problem nine. Okay, and now for the 2022 AMC 12B problem nine. The sequence A sub zero, A sub one, A sub two on to infinity is a strictly increasing arithmetic sequence of positive integers such that this is true. Uh, what can we do? What is the minimum possible value of a sub two? So if we call a sub one x and a sub two x plus d and a sub three x plus two d and three d and four d and five d and finally 6d would be a sub 7. So we could plug that in, but why don't we just do this? Let's just call this b. Let's say that b is equal to a sub 7 for a second. I would then have 2 to the b. Now, these are both 2s. I feel like they should kind of get together because they're both 2s. So I'm going to divide by 2 to the 27. And now if b is a to the 7, all that's left over there is b. So now I will have 2 to the power of b minus 27 is equal to 27. Clearly, b, which is one of the terms, must be more than 27. And I get a power of 2 here. Oh, wait, why did I put 27 there? <laughs> Getting tired. <laughs> uh, this is b, yeah. So 2 to the b minus 27 equals b. Uh, this b right here just drops down. So if I need a power of 2... And I need b to be more than 27. What's the next power of 2 above 27? 32. So let's just see if 32 would work. If I put 32 in here, 2 to the 32 minus 27 is 2 to the 5th. And that does, in fact, equal 32. So we now know that x plus 6d is 32. Now I want the minimum possible value of a sub 2. Rather than try to calculate with those, when you're looking for that, maybe grab the answer and just see. If I made this 8, you would have to go from 32 to 8, which is a difference of 24, but you'd have to do it with five common differences. So could five common differences equal the difference there of 24? No, I think not, because it's increasing arithmetic sequence of positive integers, and that wouldn't give me an integer. So eight cannot be it. Let's try 12. If I make this 12, now it's going to be a difference of 20 from 32 to 12. That works, D would be four. Let's just verify if I go back four to eight, and then you get 16, 20, 24. This would be 28 and 32. Just wanna make sure I feel more comfortable at the end. Uh, why was that eight there? Probably for people who thought this was A sub one without checking. So maybe you've got some people with that one, but the actual answer will be B. We got one more to go in the rapid fire set. All right, and so for the final problem, the 2022 AMC 12B problem 10. By final problem, I mean the final problem in my set of five. Regular hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F has side length two. Let's start drawing that. Um, let's see if I can draw this pretty well, maybe. Something kind of like that. Not quite so regular, but it's good enough. Uh, A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, side length two. Let G be the midpoint of A, B. So G's gonna go right here. And let H be the midpoint of D, E. So H will go here. What is the perimeter of quadrilateral G, C, so we go from G to C, oops, oh, well, doesn't look quite right, but all right, we'll get rid of that. G, C, H, so from C 
to H, H to F. Okay, well, they did say it was a regular hexagon, right? That means this angle is 120. And we know that this is 2, and we know that G is a midpoint, so we know that's 1, and that's 1, and that's 2, and that's 120, and that's 120, and that's 2, and that's 1, and that's 1, and that's 2, and that's 120. I hope you see what's going on here. We must follow the law, the law of cosines. So uh, we don't have to. There's other ways, I'm sure, but I'm going to do law of cosines here. So my preferred way to remember law of cosines is c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of c. Basically, these are opposite. This is the angle. This is the side opposite it. So if I have 120, I'm going to have cosine of 120, and opposite will be our side. We want the perimeter, so we want 4x when we get it. We just find x, multiply by 4, we're done. So we're going to have x squared. We could have called it c, but too late. The other a and b are just the other side lengths, okay? So the other side lengths are going to be 1 squared plus 2 squared minus 2 times 1 times 2 times the cos of 120. Well, the cos of 120 is the same as the cos of 60, but negative. So the cosine of 60 is 1 half, and then we're in the second quadrant, so it's going to be negative 1 half. So get rid of this. We'll put negative 1 half. I'm going to have the negative eat the negative, the half eat one of the twos, and I've got a two here. So now I've got x squared equals 1 plus 4 plus 2. The 4 comes from 2 squared. 2 times 1 is 2. That's 7. Square root. Get 7 times 4. D4. Radical 7. I will try to get back to filming sometime in the next couple of days. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day.